Hello friends, in this video we will see circular convolution. So basically we have to find y of n and the given part is x of n and h of n. So x of n is the input signal and h of n is the impulse response. So when we talk about circular convolution, you have to note some point. The first point is we have to multiply two matrix to get the final answer and this is the matrix of the y of n because we have to find y of n. So what will be here, you know, x of n and h of n or it can be the opposite way like here h of n and here x of n why because this part is of circular we will see when we solve the sum so this is the basic meaning right but second point is matrix multiplication so you know that m cross n are row and column and similarly p cross q is again the row and column but they can be multiplied when these two are equal and for that n should uh, p should be equal to n so if this are equal final answer can have row and column like this so this is the matrix multiplication rule you should know and this leads me to the next point next point is to make this possible to make this possible length should be equal now length of what length of x of n and h of n should be equal to get this matrix multiplication possible so let's simplify the signal so the first point is to simplify our signal x of n is n plus 1 you can see n plus 1 where n ranges from 0 to 3 so 0 1 2 3 right so when my n is 0 what is the amplitude 0 plus 1 that is 1 so amplitude is 1 why my n is equal to 0 this arrow means n is equal to 0 all right this arrow means n is equal to 0 now further n would be 1 2 3 4 and so on now let's take the second point n is equal to 1 when i talk n is equal to 1 our amplitude is 1 plus 1 that is equal to 2 so when n is equal to 1 amplitude is 2 and so on 3 and 4 see last point is when n is equal to 3 our amplitude is 3 plus 1 that is 4 after that our signal is equal to 0 all would be equal to 0 so neglect that so this is our x of n and when we talk about the impulse response h of n it says that delta says i am valid at a particular point now the question is which point which point is in the bracket so point we can figure out whatever is in the bracket you can see first term we have is delta of n so at n is equal to 0 the amplitude is 2 so when n is equal to 1 amplitude is 3 n is equal to 2 amplitude is 1 so these are our signals now we have to note that the length of both are not same so the length of first signal is you can see 1 2 3 4 so length is 4 here you can see length is let's say represented by m length is you can see 1 2 3 so length is 3 now the problem is the length are not same this means that the matrix multiplication would not be possible as i have mentioned in my previous slide so what you have to do is to make the length same now the question is how will you make the length same so length can be made same using this formula m plus m minus 1 what is this let's see 4 plus 3 minus 1 so this lands me to you can see 7 minus 1 6 this says that the length of x of n and h of n should be made equal and the length should be 6 all right now how i can make this length as 6 you can see length is 4 now now i have to convert this length from 4 to 6 this means you have to add the extra zeros so now you can note that our length has changed from 4 to 6 1 2 3 4 5 6 so now our length is 6 when we talk about h of n again we have to add 3 0 see 0 are added now you can see that 1 2 3 4 5 6 our length has changed from 3 to 6 now the length of x of n and h of n are same now we can do the matrix multiplication now we have to fill the matrix you can see that two matrix are multiplied to get the final matrix that is y of n x of n is here and h of n is here it can be the opposite x of n can be here and h of n can be here but i have taken h of n here okay x of n is this signal and i have filled directly 1 2 3 4 0 0 no problem but here is the circular part 
सो यू कैन सी दैट फर्स्ट लाइन इज टू थ्री वन जीरो 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 एज पर एच ऑफ एन वैल्यूज नाउ वॉट विल बी दी रेस्ट बिकॉज दिस इज नाउ सिक्स इंटू सिक्स मैट्रिक्स ओके सो फर्स्ट लाइन इज दिस नाउ वॉट विल बी दी नेक्स्ट लाइन लेट सी दैट फर्स्ट राइट दिस एंडिंग पार्ट एट दी फर्स्ट देन फॉलो वॉट एवर दी वैल्यू फ्रॉम टॉप टू बॉटम सो टू थ्री वन जीरो जीरो अगेन दिस बॉटम वैल्यू एट टॉप देन वॉट एवर इज दी वैल्यू फ्रॉम टॉप स्टार्ट राइटिंग डाउन टिल दी बॉटम टिल हियर सो जीरो टू थ्री वन जीरो सिमिलरली बॉटम पार्ट विल गो अप देन वॉट एवर इज दी वैल्यू एट टॉप स्टार्ट राइटिंग डाउन अप टिल हियर सो जीरो जीरो टू थ्री लास्ट वैल्यू इज वन सिमिलरली द रेस्ट सो इन दिस वे यू विल फिल दिस मैट्रिक्स नाउ इफ यू हैव अ डाउट वेदर आई हैव फिल्ड दिस मैट्रिक्स राइट और रॉन्ग सो यू हैव टू टेक अ नोट दैट इन द डायग्नल द वैल्यूज वुड बी सेम सो यू कैन सी टू 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 वैल्यूज आर सेम थ्री 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 वैल्यूज आर सेम वन 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 जीरो 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 इन द ऑपोजिट साइड इट्स ऑल्सो सेम यू कैन सी जीरो 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 वन एंड थ्री इफ दिस इज सेटिस्फाइज देन यू कैन टेक अ रीचेक दैट येस द मैट्रिक्स इज फिल्ड राइट so we have this matrix we have this matrix now we have to multiply that i will show first value how we can multiply that see 2 multiplied with 1 so 2 plus 0 multiplied with 2 0 0 multiplied with 3 0 0 multiplied with 4 0 1 multiplied with 0 again 0 3 multiplied with 0 is again 0 so value is 2 similarly for the second value you can see 3 multiplied with 1 3 then 2 multiplied with 2 4 then 0 multiplied with 3 0 0 multiplied with 4 0 0 multiplied with 0 0 and 1 multiplied with 0 is 0 so 4 plus 3 is 7 similarly you have to fill the rest value now you can see that the value of y of n is this after get, after solving this matrix multiplication so the final answer is 2 comma 7 comma 13 comma 19 comma 15 comma 4 and it started 2 so for rest also it started origin so arrow means the origin at 0 the value is 2 and so on let's take a quick recap what we have done is we had equation of x of n and h of n we have simplified in the form of this some amplitude okay now further we made the length same why we made the length same for the circular convolution then we saw how we can put in the values when we talk about the circular matrix and we have multiplied with the nadal matrix and saw the matrix multiplication to get the final answer y of n so this was the flow you have to follow to get the value of y of n using circular convolution to friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel तो मिलते हैं अगली वीडियो में टिल देन टेक केयर दिस इज ट्रेनिक जैन पीस आउट